I just want to jump into the um, meat of the interview straight away. So since we're the Loaf podcast, we like to ask all our guests and you actually find out, surprisingly, it sounds like a stupid question. You actually find out quite a lot about your guests on this question. What is your favorite bread? Bread? Yeah. That is so random. Um, my favorite bread is like Vienna. So I'm like half Maltese. So Really? Yeah, a traditional Maltese dish is like having like a big loaf of like Vienna bread and like you fill it with like a lot of like tuna and like salads as well. And like you just eat it like that. So like that Vienna bread's my favorite. And it's, I think it's white bread, yeah. <laughs> you know Hobbs Bazit? Hobbs Bazit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and pastizis and yeah, Maltese. I'm in Malta right now, yeah, I'm half Maltese. Dead set. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is sick. See what a small world. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, that, that's insane. That's insane. Yeah, so that's my favorite brand. Yeah, you don't get many Maltese people, actually. No, you don't. Yeah. I haven't had rabbit in a while, but I'm craving some. But I don't live at home, so I can't make it. Mum and my nana is really good at making it, but really? I don't know how to make it. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, actually, I have family in Australia because I feel like there's that link between Malta and Australia. There is. There's a lot of Maltese people in Australia, definitely. <laughs> uh, before we go to what's more serious topics, I was wondering if you know Teddy Toma. No, I haven't heard of him. Okay, no, because he's probably the biggest Maltese footballer right now. I mean, if you want to play for the Maltese national team, I think you're more than welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll have to hook that up. I would love to play for the Maltese national team. <laughs> God. <laughs> love it. Look, it's, it's two different pathways. Unfortunately, if you play for the Socceroos in Australia, you can't play for uh, Malta. So you kind of have to choose one. Uh, before you get there but yeah it's um Malta do play some interesting teams they they may not make it to the World Cup but they get to play their qualifying games against England and Portugal and Spain and so it's good exposure as well so it's, it's quite tempting yeah no it's great <laughs>